We humans leave a mark every day on every single object that we touch in the name of fingerprints. It is a signature that is unique only to a particular individual. The current population of the earth is around 8 billion and every single fingerprint is unique. The first recorded fingerprint was in the year 1892 and since then we have been documenting and storing the fingerprints and the prints have never repeated itself. And that is why we have seen lots of cases that have been solved just with the help of these fingerprints. Fingerprints are patterns that can be seen as unique not just on fingers but also on your palms, toes and feet and they are unique too. When we observe fingerprints through a magnifying glass, we can see ridges and furrows forming patterns. These patterns are of three types, loops, walls and arches with different variations in each of them. For example, loops are either radial loops that point towards the thumb or ulnar loops pointing towards the pinky. 60% of fingerprints have loops like this. Walls are patterns that are spiral going on in circles. There are four variations in walls. Plain, that is concentric circles, central pocket loop like a wall at the end and double loop that looks like an S shape, accidental loop which doesn't have any particular shape just random spiral patterns and these walls contribute to 35% of patterns. Arches are wavy shapes that are just normal plain arches or tented arches. Arches account for 5% of all fingerprint patterns. Now go ahead and check your fingers to find out your fingerprint pattern. Now we know the various patterns of the fingerprints, it is time to check some interesting facts about these fingerprints. Number 1. Fingerprints are unique. There has never been a record of two individuals having the same fingerprint, not even in identical twins. Number 2. Fingerprints are persistent. There are studies conducted to find if fingerprints are persistent throughout the life. Multiple fingerprint samples were recorded for individuals at different periods of their lifetime and they have always stayed persistent. Fingerprints are everywhere and they can be found in cloth, walls, soap, wax, etc. But they are more visible on smooth surfaces like glass, metal, plastic, etc. When they are stained with substances like blood, ink and dirt, they are very much clearer. Capturing a fingerprint fine and clear is very important in the process and there are various methods to do that in different scenarios. The usual ones are taking a high resolution picture or just dusting the fingerprint powder over the surface to make the print impression obvious. We can also use LED devices that emit a particular wavelength of light to see them clearly and then further powdered and photographed. There are other more technically advanced methods like using cyanoacrylate, a super glue that is applied on the surface before dusting powders which makes the impression stronger and more visible. But these are methods that can be used only on smooth surfaces like glass and plastic. But what about the rough surfaces like paper or cloth? Forensic analysts use chemicals to be applied on the surface and when these chemicals react with the acids and salts left by the human skin on these fingerprints, they turn purple and thus revealing these fingerprints. So that is about fingerprints and the detailed analysis of them. So see you guys with another interesting topic. Until then, this is Team Curious DNA signing off. Bye bye.